Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dak Buster, where this guy went to film school, and I know nothing, but I know a little bit of something. Yeah, you, or everything. You know, <laughs> you know some things. You know, because I'm older, and you've seen some movies and TV yeah. shows, which is what we talk about here. So that's all that matters. It is all that matters. Yeah, and I, the discussions have been fun. So yes. What are we talking about today? Today we are talking about another letter of the alphabet. We are going to J, mm. and we are talking about Jennifers in film and TV, uh, and just famous Jennifers. I have like ping pong and there's so with many Jennifers right now. There's so many. I have like a the thing is is the the first like six Jennifers that come to my mind. I hold at like the same level of who are they? Who are, who are the and... first six? Like before we even get into what they do or what movies or shows they're on. You got Coolidge. Yeah. Uh, Lopez. Yep. Uh, Aniston. Yep. Uh, Garner. Yeah. And probably for me, it's probably Jennifer Lawrence comes okay. to mind pretty quick. Yep. But yeah, yeah. I mean, it's. I mean, those are. I feel like those would be on my list too. Like those are some of the ones that are um. There's some like side runners, yeah. obviously. But okay, cool. Well, yeah. What do we want to talk about first? Shoot, I don't know. I feel like we could talk about. <sighs> Jennifer Aniston, maybe first. That's my first thought too. Yeah, I mean, she's just got uh, too many. I there's too much. I love her. I think love. I her. think she's done the most after Friends out of all of them, and they've all done quite a bit. But she just stands out so much to me when I think she of does that cast. Like Courtney Cox, obviously. Yeah, Lisa Kudrow. They're all has, great cast. But I mean, Jennifer Aniston. She's just anything she's in. I find myself really enjoying. Me too. Like I can't except for Leprechaun. <laughs> yes, I forgot she was, <laughs> was in one of Leprechaun, first ones, wasn't it? Yeah, she was really young. That's uh -uh. funny. Nope, not a fan. Only one I won't you watch know, with J. Ann. D list horror movie, <laughs> Jen Ann. I don't <laughs> early remember. Career. Yeah. Anyways, but what's yeah. your favorite Jennifer Aniston? Anything show mm. movie? Can we do that? Yeah. Uh, like all time, Jen Jay Ann Aniston. I mean, I think I have to go with Friends. <sighs> But if I had to pick something other than the obvious, it would probably be, I want to say just go with it. Mm. I really like just go with it. And I like her with Adam Sandler, like mm -hmm. her and murder mystery with him. I just like those two together. Not so much like the movie itself, but them together. I really yeah. enjoy their chemistry. They're adorable. Yeah. They're adorable together. I We were talking like. Drew Barrymore and Andrew Sandler. Yes. Or, Andrew. Oh my God. Oh I'm my God. so sorry. Oh my God. Adam, <laughs> if you ever watch this, so sorry. Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore, yeah, or Jennifer Ugh. Aniston and Adam Sandler. Ugh, I, I know. And I mean, they just keep doing movies together too, so they're like neck and neck for how many movies they've done as pairs. And I hear Drew and Adam are gonna in do talks another for another movie. They need to. I like them together. I, do I don't. I don't. Know. I don't know. I feel like. Adam and Drew have more of the classics together. Yeah. You know, uh, obviously 50 First Dates and Wedding Singer, yeah. like those are two major movies, whereas him and Jen Ann didn't really start until the last. Which is true. You know, t decade, probably they were in their first movie together. Mm -hmm. So I think Just Go With It was the first movie they had done together. Yeah, I feel like you're and right. And then Murder Mystery yeah. 1 and 2 now. But yeah, yeah no, I, I love them, them two together. I mean, both pairs are just great they just seem like such good friends in right. real life and everything so but yeah and i mean just go with it. it's just she shows her comedy we are the millers is up there for me with jen ann <laughs> just because that movie cracks me up never gets old <laughs> not a fan and i will watch it but if it's on like just go with it if it's on mm -hmm. anywhere i will watch it i think i've seen you click on it like three times i love it it's just a good when it's on TV. it's like a sleepless in seattle or a you've yeah. got mail like it's some or pretty woman or dirty dancing like it's one yeah. that i will play yeah. which is weird um but uh we are the millers mm -hmm. i don't know like i love the credits when they're in, yes. the, in the the RV. the RV and they start playing the friends theme song yes so I'm like great. that's classic so great and you she's know? like I know. I like everybody that's in it, and it's there's some good parts, but it's just not my cracks me up top. 
Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, I, I get that. It's not forever. It's more raunchy than most movies she's yeah. in, you know? Um, but I also love her in a dramatic role, too. Like Morning Show? Morning Show. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. She's so good. I mean, she can be a scary little she bitch. She can be. <laughs> you and know? she, like, turns into the person that you don't like. Yeah. In certain pieces of that I know. show. I know. And have you, like, watched all of it that's out? Is there... No. I am not caught up fully with... I think season two is out, and they just finished filming season yeah. three, but... I kind of lost interest in the beginning of season two. I started it, and I'm yeah. like, I don't know why I'm not feeling it right now. Yeah. I, I was kind of the same way. I think I watched halfway through, and I just haven't gotten back into it yet. Yeah, I gotta give it a chance. Uh, I really, really liked the first season, but it was yes. so relevant when it first came out too, because it was everything that was happening in the world, which is true, you know, but her and Reese, they're great. And oh, I know they're both together. amazing. And they both were the, in uh, friends. That's right. And they she played her sisters. Sister, yeah. 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 Uh, but no, I like her in a dramatic role. She, she really sh like, I think that show was great for her because it gave her an opportunity to do something that she's not normally casted in. You know, I rarely see her in a very serious role. Yeah. I mean, Marley and me, it's emotional at the end, yeah, but it's funny throughout. I think you're right. So, I mean, to see her in a role that's just straight drama the whole right. time is pretty cool. Um, but yeah. Yeah. I I like just go with it like pretty top. Friends, obviously. Like, yeah. I don't think she's ever gonna get over the connotation of being Rachel. No. I had the not. Rachel haircut. Like I yeah. wanted the Rachel haircut. You wanted it or I you got had it. it? I got it. Oh, which one? Like, I wonder if I could find a picture the of The Rachel? It. Yeah, like the Rachel. <laughs> it was literally, I remember bringing in a picture <laughs> like of a her. Like a magazine or something? Yes. And like, the I want the Rachel haircut. Oh my God, that's classic. That shows my age yet. <laughs> you know, it shows how, what a cult classic she became. I mean. In a very short period of time. She's got to be like everyone's celeb crush at some point. Uh, like, all American to this girl, day, like. like She's adorable. I mean, she's gorgeous. There's no adorable here with Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> you know what I, one of my favorite Jennifer Aniston movies, though, low-key favorite, is Rockstar. Really? Yes. Oh my gosh, I that's a I love that movie. That's a deep cut, almost. I, me and an ex-boyfriend used to watch it, and I put, like, tickets to a Dave Matthews Band concert, oh. like, in this movie we were watching it like i bought the dvd oh shoot. And we were watching it and like it just has it has good memories and i just think it's she plays a really different role in it i mean it's have you seen it i have i've seen it once long ago yeah they get a little crazy yeah i mean it's <laughs> a little a rock group I mean, and i think it's based off of judas priest if i'm not mistaken sounds right um Steel Dragon, yeah. Mark Wahlberg. I mean, Mark Wahlberg's got <laughs> Marky Mark. Holy, hello, Marky Mark. <laughs> Have they been in more together? I don't know. Mark and Jen. For some reason, I can like see them. I feel in like no, but I don't know multiple things. But I don't know. She's anyways. She just has like a personality that shines through in her films that mm -hmm. I really appreciate. She just she's someone you want to hang out with, you know? Yeah, like all American girl. Yeah, I want to be her friend. <laughs> I know. Oh, how cute. Yeah. Anything else you think of? For her? Jennifer, I mean, there's probably a plethora of things. I know, things. there's so many. Uh, one cool thing is her dad is an actor. Mm -hmm. uh, he was in Soap. He was Victor uh, on yeah. Days of Our Lives. Yep, yeah. yep. And he just passed away not know, that long ago. So Super sad. sad. Uh, but yeah, I feel like she kind of made it on her own from yeah. things I've heard, which is really cool. Like, didn't I would agree. have a lot of help from her dad. Not full on Nepo baby yeah. style. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, there's plenty of movies we could probably talk about with Jen or there shows. Is. But yeah, I think you hit the top. The good ones. Yeah. yeah. There's what is that one? Bounty Hunter or Bounty oh, yeah, or she's, something. Who is that? With, Gerard? Yeah, Gerard Butler. Butler. And her. That's a she's good one. She's with Paul Rudd. Which one and, is that? In um, Object of My Affection. Mm. Picture Perfect. That used to be one of me and my uh, sister's favorites with Jay Moore. Yep. And I, there's some other ones. In. Oh, yeah, Kevin Bacon's I, in that one. <laughs> oh, Kevin Bacon. I haven't seen that movie in a stitch. Yeah. But yeah, she's just in. I love her. Yeah. Friends, though, I watch it every single night. I mean, that's, that's my go-to if I need something on that's like 
it's been a long day. I need something funny. It's or, comfort, right? I'm tired. I need something to just put on. Like it's that is like my, it brings you back to yeah. like that warm, fuzzy comfort feeling. Yeah, like it's like home. You're my, wrapping yourself in a. I was in just a talking to my parents, and my dad had not seen all of Friends ever. Like this is the first time okay. that he is sitting through and watching Friends, and I go, "What?" I think I've seen it probably. 10 times and I wasn't even alive when the show started like God you were it it was 94 right yeah. 94 to 2004 I think so yep yeah. so I mean I was 4 years old when it ended Oh my Four or five. god I was in co- I was graduating college <laughs> hey Yeah but no I mean my mom loved friends I remember yeah. getting her the box set of friends for like a Christmas gift and then I would watch it like that was one of the first experiences I had watching friends was when I got that box set so and I'll, I own it now on Blu-ray, and it's obviously on HBO, right. and I will just, I'll put it on anytime. Oh, yeah, every night I fall asleep to it. I can honestly start from any point in that show, and I'm like, okay. What's your favorite Friends season? We should probably have Oof. a whole episode about Friends, honestly. Probably. Uh, maybe we do that. Should we do that? Yeah, maybe okay. save it. Yeah, Because I think it. I might have to think a little bit. I know what mine is, but I know what let's my least is. favorite period is. Because I but... think we're getting into yeah, a couple oh, other a squirrel in here because you could spin off of yeah, all of the could. characters yeah, and everything. Let's so. do that. We'll do that. Yeah. So future stay episode. tuned for a future yeah. Friends episode. But yeah, what's your next Jennifer that you can Oof. think of? I mean Jennifer Garner. Oh yeah. I feel like she's kind of classic. Oh, turn her back on. <laughs> Jennifer, <laughs> where's it at? Thanks, Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Garner. I yeah. Mean, I she's. Mean gorgeous too yeah you know every jennifer we're gonna talk about is gorgeous actually she's in one of my like all-time favorite rom-coms 13 going on 30 yeah. oh my god so good love, it. love her in it love mark ruffalo with her in it i do too it's just i mean classic movie uh and now that she's like older she's playing like the mom figure in a lot of her movies and she's still just as lovable in what's everything. the i haven't seen the one the Timothy. Yeah, Timothy, Timothy Green. Green. Yeah, I have not seen that one, but it looks really good. I just don't like movies that make me like ball sometimes. Yeah, and I know that one's gonna be a. Yeah. I haven't seen it either. I've seen. Yeah. Uh, what's the other one that she was in a few years back where she plays the mom? She's just. Oh, I'm gonna have to pull up her IMDb. I think. Because there's one, and I can like picture the kid. Mm. I mean, she's fierce. I love her. Jennifer. A lot. What about Peppermint, where she goes all bad? I haven't seen that. I'm not. See, here's the thing. She, I like her a lot, but like she does these action movies, and I'm not like heavy yeah. in that side of my life. Which I could, yeah, that um, makes sense. Um, but, I mean, she was in Juno. Did well, you ever who was she that? in Juno? Yeah, I've seen uh, Juno. Vanessa. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I haven't seen Juno in a long time yeah uh love simon josh demel yes, was in that that was a sad um, one too it was sad but <gasps> it's 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 kind of a they're like heart they rip my heart yeah. apart because i just i hate that actually happens in this I world know. i know <laughs> that's like a oh this is really real this is like yeah oh. <laughs> and i feel like that's what that timothy green yes the odd life of timothy green the odd life yes uh did you ever see alexander and the terrible horrible no good very bad day no but okay, I that's remember Steve Carell, like a giant in it. Yes, yeah, Steve Carell. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I've seen that one once where everything I goes haven't. wrong in that movie. Um, yeah, she's in a lot. Arthur with your boy. Uh, <laughs> Russell, Brand. Russell Brand. I have Loki again. <laughs> little crush on Russell Brand. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> he's like. He's he's a check. I yeah, like <laughs> he's just funny. I think he's freaking adorable. He's weird. He's just like he's quirky himself. and adorable. I love him. Yeah. Yep. Uh, what about Ghost of Girlfriend's Past? Oh, okay. First of all, <laughs> once again, with can we do your Matthews, other guy <laughs> Matthews for M? Because I got to talk about McConaughey, or we have a whole show about McConaughey. Yeah, because he's my ultimate. That man. Looks good anyway. He looks. <laughs> you just, you're here for it, no I'm matter here what for he's Matthew. in. That's he, great. Short hair, long hair, untamed, high, not high. <laughs> oh my God. The guy, he, I can't remember what movie I just watched with him. He plays like just a washed out yeah. writer. 
okay. novelist, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember what it's called. I might have to look it up, but we'll talk about that. But I was like, I, I'm good with him. <laughs> I would, yeah, this all yeah. makes sense to me. But anyways, Ghost of Girlfriend, Girlfriend's Past, yes. Yeah. I love a... You gotta love a rom-com. A rom-com that I know what's gonna happen. Yeah, and it's got two of the best, like, yeah. rom-com actors yeah. in it. Like, obviously, it's a feel-good watch. Yeah. But uh, she was also in Catch Me If You Can oh, with Leo and so sad. Uh, Tom. Leo. Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, I'm thinking of it. Catch and Release. Oh, is she, is in, she that? in Catch Me If You Can? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is. <laughs> I think it's like a small role, one of her early things. Interesting. No, Catch you Me know. If You Can, or Catch and Release is a very sad one. Have you seen that one? Uh -uh. You should watch it. But Catch uh, Me If You Can, yes. I mean, top actors in that one. Yeah. I feel like her her like list is shorter, but she has heavy hitters. Yeah. I would agree. It, you know? Um, but yeah, she's definitely up there. Jennifer Garner. 13 going on 30, though. Ugh, my fave. That's my top. Nostalgia. 80s. Like, I was yeah. born. I was her age. I was, you know, playing with the stuff that she had in her room yeah. and like I had that stuff in my room and I was dressed like that and I mean yeah I mean, that's a classic movie I mean a, yeah it's you, a good take on it too right yeah like and I mean you got some MJ in there the whole dance sequence yes. love that scene probably my favorite scene in the whole movie I thought it was well done razzles every time you see the candy yeah. razzles I instantly think oh 13 yep. going on 30 razzle red yep <laughs> what color is your tongue razzle red <laughs> you know like I love it that's so great. good. Uh, another Jennifer I think about is she's she's on fire right now. Jennifer Coolidge. Oh, love her. Stifler's mom. Stifler's I mean, that's mom. instantly where I go when yeah. I think of Jennifer Coolidge. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> she has had a hell of a year. She's been she really casted has. in just about as many movies as she's had in her whole career up to this point. Like, I mean, she's in Netflix movies, HBO shows. Uh, blockbuster movies on Amazon and like she's everywhere right now and she's winning all these awards getting recognition gotta love Jennifer Coolidge she just seems so real and like genuine yeah like, she you feel her feelings and how she, I remember uh, the awards show the SAG Awards yep. where she was like my dad got me out of school it was first grade yep for a Charlie Chaplin festival <laughs> yeah and she's I'm like, like crying. It's so real. Yeah. She just doesn't care. And I've yeah. heard in so many interviews where people who have like acted with her are just like, she'll just say something and you'll just break character because it's out of left field and it's just the funniest thing. She's like one of the funniest people they've ever worked with. Uh, and I mean, she's done it all from kids' movies to like adult films and stuff. Like, right. I mean, uh, she was in uh, Hilary Duff. Uh, Princess, mm -hmm, her Cinderella mm -hmm. story. Oh my God! Cinderella I forget story. she was the mom or yeah, stepmom. She was the evil stepmom. Yes, just classic. Oh my God! Speaking of, oh my God. What? I didn't say it right, but say <laughs> say your. Oh my. God. There you go. <laughs> You look like the 4th of July. Is that on Legally Makes me Blonde? Want a hot dog, real bad. <laughs> I'm taking the dog, dumbass. Oh yeah, when she yeah yeah yeah, oh, she's good. She really is good. She's great. I mean, she cracks me up. She was recently in The White Lotus. Yeah, I, I haven't mean, fully watched that. I know you've told me to. I will get on that. You got it. I know. I mean, the... I tried a couple episodes, and I just need to be in a mind space. I think for it, it's a very certain like humor and yeah. drama that you it. I'm shocked that I watched it when I did because I was it was like a. I've heard about this, whatever, yeah. I'll watch it. And then, whoop, just sucked in. Yeah. And then season two dropped, and it was just the same, like, oh, well, I'm in it. But I think for me, Jennifer Coolidge makes that show. So, uh, what are they going to do now? Because, I mean, I already, spoiler alert, like, I know, know what happens okay, to I her. I wasn't going to mention it, but. Oh, I. <laughs> Side note about me. Yeah. <laughs> and this is so bad. I can't believe I'm admitting it. I like to like read ahead That's on anything. Crazy. I like to know what's going to happen in a book, in a show, really? in a movie. Yeah. Why? I So you already know? Yeah. You're mentally preparing yeah. for the end? <laughs> like I am hugely empathetic. So if 
there's gonna be anything that's gonna rip my heart apart yeah. or if it's gonna be scary yeah i need to know about it before it happens i mean when tanya is her name on oh, <laughs> the white lotus I love it. <laughs> when, that's cute when she dies a tragic death at the end of season two spoiler alert <laughs> After the fact. <laughs> you said it already. It's okay. Uh, I um, hope so. But, yeah, it's, I was, my heart, like, ripped. Uh, our other host, Alexa, I texted her instantly, and I was like, um, the White Lotus finale? What? <laughs> and then on Twitter, there's all these things, like, how are they going to bring her back? They need to bring her back. She's I know I've be seen there. like twin sister yeah, or something. Yeah, she plays yeah. her twin sister coming back to uh, avenge her dead sister or whatever. Yeah. I mean, that's she's so just fun. hilarious. She's got tons of memes that came out of the White Lotus, and that's what put her back yeah. on the map. I mean, Ariana Grande did an impression of her on Jimmy Fallon, <laughs> and that, that like stemmed some new stuff. She was in a music video with her, like recreating all the popular old. 90s films and yeah. stuff but no i think she's great she's in a plethora of movies that are just classics were you an american pie fan eh, i no. mean i watched the first one and i don't think i watched any of the no. others because i just it wasn't my my type of comedy when i first watched them you know i was yeah. just like meh this is okay she i mean that's my first re recollection of jennifer coolidge yeah. was stifler's mom yeah you which know, milf i think milf yep i think she like came was... from that what right <laughs> yeah, yeah i think so but i mean she was just like iconic moments in her life i feel like yeah have happened i mean her because bend and snap yeah you know like there's little things from each of these it's just crazy that every movie she's pretty much been in has been like a cult classic yeah in some way uh, she was in The Watcher on Netflix. Oh, yeah, she was. Um, I didn't finish that because, uh-uh, nope. I didn't either. I had two episodes left, but I towards the end, I was just like, well, I already know it's not solved in real life. <laughs> I know, right? So that's what I, found I got out. my fix. I'm good. <laughs> like, if And I got to like solved, the climax of the nope. season, and I was like, nah, I'm over it. <laughs> Literally, I checked, too. I'm like, is it going to be solved? Nope. nope. Okay, I'm Bye. done. Not going to do it. But, I mean, she's great in that. She was in that movie with uh, another Jennifer, who we'll talk about shortly, but Josh Demel and Jennifer Lopez. Oh, yeah. Uh, Shotgun oh, yeah. Wedding. I have not watched that. Okay, she made that movie. Yeah? <laughs> I mean, her and Jennifer Lopez, like, best parts of that movie. They're hilarious. Jennifer just plays the crazy mom of Josh Demel. Uh, oh, my gosh, that's classic. She's just, there's one scene when she's like, don't F with my kid or something and just starts like shooting a machine gun and you're just like what and how cool to have her play your mom oh like that's i cool. mean who else i yeah. i don't know who else i'd have to play my mom i want jennifer <laughs> i love that that's awesome yeah no, i need to watch that show i mean i think you would like it because it's one of those rom-coms that you know what happens right and it's got action in it so i don't know if you would like that part if you like i appreciate the comfort in a rom-com i know it's gonna happen but it's the action part that even like yes, other movies I could name that I'm like no, nope. no, nope, not here I know for it, it ends with a good old love story, but no. Nah. No. Yeah, no. I think the comedy is forefront. There's big action moments yeah. in it, but yeah, they start singing at one point. I can't remember what song, but Jennifer just starts singing, and then everyone <laughs> chimes in for the wedding. It's it's pretty classic. That's but, cool. Yeah. Well, what's your favorite Jennifer Lopez movie? <sighs> I mean, Made in Manhattan is a good oh one. God. You've got um, what's the the bride one? Um, the other one where she's getting married. <laughs> she's getting Monster married. in Law. No. A wedding planner. Yes, the wedding planner. Oh, Matthew McConaughey. Hello. Yeah. Hello. She's always getting married in her movies. Literally had a movie this last year that was called Marry Me. Oh yeah, that's with Owen Wilson, right? <laughs> yep. I haven't watched that one Me yet either. either. But yeah, I mean, Made in Manhattan's a classic. That is a good one. Um, she was also in a movie with Vanessa Hudgens, like probably four or five years ago. That was really, really good. It was like a shockingly good movie. I was like, I did not go into this expecting it to be like. Which one? I gotta look up the name. She like ends up being. Do you want a spoiler? 
Yeah. <laughs> spoiler. Spoiler, spoilers do not affect me. No. Uh, <laughs> Jennifer ends up finding out that um, Vanessa's character is her like long lost daughter that she had put up for adoption. Oh my god! And she's like working for her and stuff, and yeah, That's it's crazy. it's like kind of a uh, was it second act? Yeah, second act. I don't. Oh, I have seen that, but I never watched it. Not like I've yeah, seen the, you've seen the ad cover. or something uh, about it, but Leah I never Remy watched is it. In it. Oh, I love uh, her. Yeah, I mean, I really liked it. I was shocked. I actually saw that in the theater when it came out. Oh, 2018. Interesting. So. Yeah. Doesn't she do like uh, a movie called Enough? Uh, yeah. I think it's like she plays a. I think it has to do with like domestic violence. Oh really? I've never seen Enough. It's. I mean, it's heavy. You yeah. know. But it's a it's a good show. Yeah, she's <laughs> actually a really good dramatic actor, actress. Yeah, I do like her. I mean, she. I feel like you'd call her a triple threat. Yeah, big time. You know? She can dance like no other. Uh, she yeah. can sing very well. Yeah, she's a good singer. I mean, live, she, she actually will. sounds like her, her recordings, and I appreciate that. Oh, I like Selena. Oh, yeah. It's a classic. Classic. I love Selena. I haven't seen Selena. it as much as I probably should. I love it. My niece watched it, and she's eight years old, Yeah, loves that movie. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, like. Isn't there a story about how you had to, like, tell her that the yeah. re- the real Selena died yeah. and <laughs> yeah because like, she wanted to see her oh no you know and those are hard because you're like man so do I yeah <laughs> how do I explain this to you that is someone playing her yeah and she's not here yeah I mean like my mom will get her like Selena t-shirts and like she got her like a Selena magazine <laughs> like I love that it's so funny she loves her and her songs like I love that they like live on yeah you know, different movies like that. That yeah, I mean, the one thing with that is like I think I remember Everett saying something about Selena, like around me or something, and I just assumed she was talking about Selena Gomez. There's no way, right? She's talking That's about true. Selena, like I'm like Selena Gomez. Yeah, Disney Channel. Yeah, love her. No. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Not not Gomez. Like she'll get those songs in her head and like yeah. she'll start like you know dancing to it. I'm like that's so. Great. I love it. No, she's she's great in that. She's so good in that she movie. She truly embodied her, too. I mean, like, side-by-side yeah. side pictures oh, yeah. of them is, like, pretty crazy. So good. Yeah. What about Unfinished? Uh, I think it's called, like, An Unfinished Life. Mm. Have you ever seen that? No. I would recommend that one. It's a... I remember being sad. I haven't seen it in a while. But it's, like, Robert Redford, okay. Morgan Freeman, oh. I believe, is in it. The Voice of God. Oh, yeah, I mean, he's... <laughs> yes. Um, and I think Josh Lucas. Okay. Um, good movie. Recommend it. Never even heard of that one. Yeah. Interesting. I'll have to check that out for sure. Yeah. Uh, what about Anaconda? You like Anaconda? No. <laughs> That's a big snake. <laughs> Anything with that word in it, I'm not gonna go out and <laughs> seek to watch. Oh my god. Like arachnophobia. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. That's exactly. Ice Cube in that with her, right? Uh. I've never seen it, so I don't know. Oh, my God. No, I, I won't watch is. it. I, I am not going to watch it. You got to. No, I don't. You got to watch I it. I don't have to do anything. I mean, that movie. <laughs> uh-uh. I do remember. I was a young boy when I watched that. For some reason, my mom played me that in Eight-Legged a Freaks. A young lad? As a young lad. So, uh, What do you mean, Eight-Legged Freaks? That's a movie about giant spiders. Mutated spiders no. with David Arquette. <laughs> oh, gosh. Where is it? Anaconda. Who's in it with her? Oh, John Voight is in it. Mm. Uh, Ice Cube is in it. Oh, okay. No. Uh, Eric Stoltz. Owen Wilson's in Anaconda. Mm. Look at that. Danny Trejo. Great cast. She's been in a lot of really well-casted movies, I feel like. Yeah. I mean, she's... Yeah, she's good. She's up there for sure. I like her. Love Jenny from the block. Yeah. Used to have a little, now she's got a lot. Yeah, she does have a lot. <laughs> she's got a lot. Uh, mm-hmm. Another Jennifer. Uh, what about Jennifer Lawrence? Mm. You Not a fan of J-Law? No. I mean, some of her, I think of Hunger Games and Silver Linings Playbook yeah. and Joy. Okay. 
those are the Joy, three that I would that's think a, of. That's kind of a random one. It was like QVC, right? Like she was making a product. Yeah, and... I think so. I've only seen that one once when it had Oscar buzz like a long time oh, okay. ago or it was like first came out, I think, and I saw it. Um, but yeah, I mean, Hunger Games, I read those books in school and then went to the movies. It was one of the series that I really liked along with like Harry Potter. I didn't uh, finish it. Really? Nope. Hated it. It's Hated the whole not up, thing. Up your alley at nope. all, like kids killing kids. Like, I am like, <laughs> what is going on? It's very, here? very violent yeah. for a movie that is like aimed at the younger teen. Yeah. You know, it. Yeah, I remember I watched that with my grandma, my religious grandmother. <laughs> I was like, this movie's great. You're gonna love it. Put it in, and it's just no, <laughs> no, no. It's hard to watch, and I'm like. Oh, yeah. It's hard to put your, mm, your mind in a situation like that yeah. actually occurring in this world. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's scary. Very true. Very true. That's one that I'll rewatch the whole thing, though, no like, way. every now and then. But, uh, I mean, she Silver Linings Playbook with Bradley Cooper. Yeah. Great movie. Agreed. I, I love that one. Um, She's been in a lot now. I mean, her, her list really went up. Like, the 2014 era, she popped yeah. off super big uh she was recently in that don't look up with jonah hill uh and uh who else is in that i didn't movie? watch that uh, what's her name older lady she's um oscar winner like the greatest actress of all time meryl street yes <laughs> i mean meryl, uh, that's the only person i can think of <laughs> don't look up didn't like it okay <laughs> i really didn't enjoy it i thought it was meh. yeah uh but no she's I'm trying to think of another one that she's been in she was in that movie with chris pratt everyone hated it i enjoyed it i'm just not a huge in space jayla oh yeah yeah i don't i saw she was on a apple tv plus maybe causeway or is that a rentable i don't remember what streaming it's on because there's so dang many yeah I haven't watched it. I just never feel like I need to go further and watch it. Because of Jayla? Not or... because of her. I just don't like... It's not like someone that would draw me towards them. Interesting. But you've also heard what I like, too. Yeah. You know? and she's, she's in completely Yeah. I think the closest things. is Silver Linings Playbook yeah. that she's in that I can think of. And I that mean, was pushing it for me. Yeah. It was. You know? Valid. I but mean, when you're watching with... Uh, guys or yeah people that like that type of stuff oh for sure makes sense i'll watch it i mean and... she was an x-men mm -mm. big franchise not my my cup of tea uh never really got into x-men myself but uh she plays the blue lady in that where she's mm. like full makeup okay. <laughs> um and american hustle Oh, yeah. She was in that. That was a good one. I mean, crazy good cast in that. I think they won a bunch of Oscars I forgot for that about movie. American Hustle. Uh, that Christian was a... Bale. That's another movie with Bradley Cooper. That was her. a really good movie. Amy Adams, Jeremy Renner. Great cast. Yep. Uh, and then she was in a horror movie, uh, House at the End of the it. Street. No. Yeah, that one's pretty creepy. I think that was the first movie I ever saw her in. No. Um, but yeah, other mm. than that, not a whole lot other than Hunger Games. That's... I think she's most known for Hunger Games, for sure. Yeah, it makes sense. That's yeah. when I feel like I think of her. It's the first thing that comes to mind. Yeah. Is Hunger Games. For sure. Cool. Mm -hmm. What's your next, Jennifer? Um, I don't know if there's any, like, top. I wrote a few down just in case I would get to this point, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, you know, like... I go back to Jennifer Grey. Yes, obviously. She's been in some classics. She's been in, like, the classics, honestly. Yeah, Dirty Dancing is honestly a top three movie of mine. Ferris Bueller's Day Off is a top movie of mine. Yeah. Like, I mean, you she's know? in, like, the movies. <laughs> like, she is. Um, I'm trying to think of what else she's been in other than those two. Those are the obviously the two that... Red Dawn, at the top of mine. Oh, yeah. Uh, which she was in that with um, Patrick Swayze as well. They still did not like yeah, each other. Yeah, they didn't like each other. And that's what I've always thought in Dirty Dancing. It's like, like sad. They, but it is sad, but they don't show it. I don't feel that which from watching it. A lot of times you can, you know? Yeah. And 
that you can't like i feel love and chemistry and like this is what's gonna happen you know so red dawn was before dirty dancing and it was already talked about how they did not like each other and honestly their characters in that movie like beef too so you can see it there okay if you watch red dawn and then watch dirty dancing you're like there's no way these are the same (laughs) actors because you can see the hatred and like the she she has like a, a face like her angry yeah. face is very distinct. <laughs> God dang! I know we talked about Dirty Dancing already, but I mean, it's so great. Good. It's great. You can't go wrong. Probably kind of along those lines is Jennifer Beals from oh, Flashdance. Yes, and I feel like she was just in something else. Oh, let me pull something up here. Um, on maybe a streaming service. <laughs> uh, she was on the L Word TV no. show, Boba Fett. <laughs> No. Do you have watched Boba Fett? No. Um, Luckiest Girl Alive? Yes. That's with Mila, Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis, yeah. I haven't watched it yet. I haven't either, but I've heard it's good. I've heard it's really good. I think Alexa was talking about I need to watch it, and yeah. I didn't get to my homework, apparently. No, we should watch it at some point, <laughs> yeah. because I, I do want to see it, and Jennifer, uh, I mean, her and Flashdance. Yeah, classic. Classic. I think that's the biggest thing I can think of with her. Yeah, me too. Like, I'm trying to think of, I'm like scrolling through here and I'm like, I haven't seen most of these. She's been in a lot. Um, what um, about uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt? Oh, love Jennifer Love First Hewitt, movie actually. You think of. I don't know. I think of the show she was on. Um, what show? I think she was on 911. Oh. Let me. Make sure I, I'm not thinking of it's the wrong. can't hardly wait. Do you remember can't hardly oh, wait? Oh yeah, with like Ethan Embry yeah. and she was also in I know what you did last. Summer? Yes, yep. yes, Freddie Prince. Yes, yep. and she's coming back with Freddie. Oh right? yeah, yep. yep. Yeah, so that'll be cool to see those two come back together for a cult classic. Yeah, '80s or '90s film. Um, can't well, hardly wait. I mean, who everyone wanted to be with yeah. her. Yeah, I or be be with her and be her. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, both of. She was, uh, what was that one show she was in for the longest time? Ran so Party long. Party of Five? No. I think was she, she in like, Party of Five? She talks to like dead people, I think. What? Ghost Whisperer? Go- I don't know. Again, you're not speaking my language. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Ghost Whisperer. That's funny. That's like 2005 to 2010. It ran for so long and it was just... Party of five. Great. She was. Wow. Yep. I mean, that brings me back. That was 94 to 2000. So <laughs> she was in Tropic Thunder. I mean, a classic. Yeah, no, yeah, she's. I've always liked her. I think she's a girl next door. Yeah. You know? For sure. I mean, Hallmark, I think. Even of, if you don't like... know of her or have seen her movies you know her name yeah which is interesting with her because she hasn't been in a lot of really big no, things she hasn't. but i feel like everybody just kind of knows the name jennifer love hewitt i I knew it before i had seen anything she was in you know yeah and... i had a cousin who was like head over heels for her really in high school you know so bring me back to 2000 what year <laughs> was the movie uh which one can't hardly wait can't hardly wait and was it's like the underdog gets the girl you know, because they're graduating yeah. and she's with the popular guy. You know, the 98. The story. So I would have been a junior in high school. Makes sense. And that's, that's yeah, like the... it's just one of those things you're like, I was living that, you know, because yeah. they were graduating and I was graduating in 2000. And, and I don't have yeah. a lot of movies that came out like that around my time. No. It got real dark. In so, movies and TV sad. around the time I was graduating. It's like the kids are doing drugs. Oh, <laughs> and... no. These guys were signing yearbooks and yeah. you know, <laughs> doing like uh, keg stands and I having mean, cool parties. And valid. <laughs> at their parents' house. Like it was a great movie. Yeah. And you just, yeah, I loved it. Uh, it's a warm hearted one. Another Jennifer. What about Jennifer Hudson? Um, I mean, she's a phenomenal singer. Yeah. I have not really probably seen a lot of her movies, if any. Honestly, how bad is that? Dream Girls is what comes to my mind. I have never seen Dream Girls. Really? Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh! And you, and you, yeah, I've never seen and it. you. 
So you're gonna love me. Yeah, I should probably watch it. I mean, that one is one that I've only seen like once, mm. just because it's a classic and I love a good musical. So I was like, right. I'm gonna watch it, and it is really good. It's heavy, you know. It's yeah. not. It's not a light movie. Um. What else has she been in? I feel like, you know, she's kind of just dipped her toe into the... Was she in Sex and the City? Yeah, she was. Wasn't she, she was. Carrie Bradshaw's assistant? Uh, Louise. Meet me in St. Saint Louis. Uh, Louise from St. Louis, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she was good in that. Interesting. Uh, she was like... Yeah, she had really good, like, mannerisms, and she did a really good job with that character. That. She did Hairspray Live when they oh, did yeah. that on yep. TV. Um. But yeah, I mean, she's gorgeous. She's again her singing. Oh, she has a talk show now too. Out of this world. She's okay, one of the other ones that have started a talk I show. I like that here for in her this new era. I feel like it's a new yeah, era. It is Kelly of, Drew. Yep, Jennifer. Like that yep. all makes sense. It's funny. I mean, you know, you've got James Corden stepping away. Yeah, Trevor Noah has left. Mm. Uh, who Ellen. else? Ellen is gone. Yeah. So yeah, it's like a new. And all of them are pretty much daytime shows, the yeah. three new big ones. But uh, yeah, it's like just that. interesting that that's what's going on. Cool. Yeah. I mean, any last minute Jennifers that we can think of? I mean, I feel like we've talked about a majority of them. Yeah, I mean, there's Jennifer Stone, which you wouldn't know. She was on Wizards of Waverly Place with Selena Gomez. No. Um, I have, you know, Jennifer Jason Lee, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Yeah. But, th- we, you know, it's, it's the only one I can think of. Yeah. You know, we Jenny Garth. Jennifer Tilly. Jennifer Tilly was Chucky, right? Yeah. Yeah. Jenny, Jenny Garth, Chucky. 90210. Yeah. I mean, those are, that's a classic yep. show. Wasn't there one that you had mentioned to, um, ah, uh, she's on The Mass Singer now, married to one of the boy band guys. Oh, McCarthy. Jenny yeah. McCarthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Jenny she was, McCarthy Wahlberg. Yes. Marky married Mark's Donnie. brother. Right? Yeah. Cousin? Brother? No, brother. Bro. Yeah, that's so he was weird. He new kid on the so block. So weird, yes. Uh-huh. Gosh. I mean... I mean, it was funny it. on The Masked Singer when every time they were trying to guess, they would, like, bring him up because they're like, maybe it's him. And she's it. like, well, I mean, I think I would know <laughs> if my husband was on here, but... <laughs> yeah, how would you do that? Maybe not. I don't know. I think he ended up actually being on it at some point. Has but, he? Yeah, I haven't seen that but, show. Yeah, I've I mean, she's clips, but... been in... Not a lot of movies, I feel like. Maybe no. she was in like the scary movies, I think. Mm. Like making I think she was of... like a co host on MTV Singled Out. Okay. Do you remember that? Probably not. It was no. in the nineties, I think, with uh Chris Hardwick. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like I know him. I'm pretty sure she was a uh, co host on it. I feel like she's done more hosting gigs than yeah. like straight And she's up great. Acting. Oh, I, I actually she's hilarious. really like her. I feel like a lot of people find her annoying i think she's hilarious i think she's great yeah. she has a, a big personality and you know i feel like she just doesn't give a crap what people think either i love that about i her. know that's I my need favorite to take thing some tips from mccarthy <laughs> i love it i don't care what you think shoot yeah night night what about can we take this differently because i feel like we've talked about a lot yeah like end it out with like anybody from like tv shows or shows with the name jenny or jennifer yeah um, can you think of any uh i instantly like the first thing i think of is jennifer's body because it's like in the title what's that uh it's with megan fox oh and okay some, she's like a vampire or like okay. cannibal or something oh, okay. it's one That's of her nice. early movies cult following not my my thing uh jennifer's body when did it come out interesting I've never heard of it came out 2009 okay uh, it's got Amanda Seyfried, um, and then of course Megan Fox. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's an interesting one. Let's see what they describe it as. A newly possessed high school cheerleader turns into a succubus, who re- who specializes in killing her male classmates. Can her best friend put an end to horror? What is a succubus? Succubus. I thought it was a plant, but maybe I'm wrong. Succulent? <laughs> it's succulent. <laughs> yeah. it's a succulent. I just like remember there being a lot of blood all over her. Yeah, and, probably like, not at my alley. And like a scene in a pool, and like I think Amanda's like the good, the good one, and Jennifer. Or, I mean, well, yeah. makes sense. Dark hair. 
Yeah. Light hair. Yeah, you know, makes dark sense. Hair. We just get the bad rap. Yeah, jeez. I know, but the I'm right in the middle, so. fun. It's cool. Well, I'm right in the middle. I'm, I get the best of both worlds. Yeah. Don't mess with me, but I'm also a good time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brunettes get a bad rap. Any Jennifers or Jennies you think I of? can only think of two right now. Okay. And I, there's one that's you're going to probably think too, but Jenny Lind. Okay. From The Greatest Showman. Yeah. She's like the, she comes Crowns out. of gold are still too never, little. Never. <laughs> yeah. Um, my niece dressed up as her for Halloween. Again, oh. way ahead of her dang time. What the heck? I'm going to dress up as Jenny Lind. It's too bad I Halloween. don't like her in that movie. No, I know. But, but one of the best songs in the soundtrack. I'll give so her that. So <laughs> good. Yeah. And it's not even her singing though, right? I know. That's the thing. I know. And then the the person who's actually singing went and auditioned for, I think, America's Got Talent. Okay. And she's like, you don't know my name, you don't know my face, but you know my voice. And I think she just went and sang the song. And, I mean, obviously, sounded Did great. it? I mean, it's... it's Her voice is magical. Yeah. Like, it's so good. And I don't know if she went on or whatever. I just saw the audition. Yeah, it's but, like haunting. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and yeah. I've always said that I can, after I found out that it wasn't her singing, that I can see it when watching the movie. Yeah. But I think a lot of people are like, no, it looks like she's, yeah, <laughs> it I looks mean, like she's singing. I fell for it. Mm hmm. Hook, line, sinker. I mean, I didn't know until probably the fifth time I watched okay. or something. I don't. <laughs> Great show. I, you know, we need to talk about musicals or yeah. movie musicals at some point because that's a top. For sure. Um, I think we said that in the last episode too, actually. Yeah. Because it's just like <laughs> on our mind. Yeah. What Jenny do you think I'm thinking of for a character? Obviously, Jenny. Jenny. <laughs> From Forrest Gump, played by... Uh, Robin Wright Penn. Robin Wright. Yep. Yeah. Uh, right? Isn't it Penn? Isn't it a... She has a three name? Does she? I think so. I just remember Robin Wright. Let me look it up. Look it up. Robin. Look it up. You're probably... Oh, no. Robin Wright Penn. Oh, that was at some point. It's Robin Wright currently. But I knew it was Robin Wright Penn at some point. They have two kids, I think, from it. Oh. She was married to Shawnee. There was a Jennifer in Scream 3. Shawnee boy. Uh, yeah, she no. dies. Yeah, well, that's great. <laughs> she was kind of a, a Bye bye, Jennifer. So she deserved it. Jenny, this Jenny from Forrest Gump. Yep. Okay. I, I think she's needed in that movie. It makes the movie. Yeah. But whose heart doesn't break for Forrest? Ugh. I mean, because you see their friendship blossom and grow. And like, uh, here's where the empathetic part comes, where you're <laughs> just like, I want to cry. Oh, no. And that whole dang movie, I cry every time. Yeah. I know exactly what's going to happen. And I, I still cry. I can quote it word for word. And I'm like, right? Like, was a box of binoculars, Forrest. <laughs> oh, it, like, it brings it up. But uh, what I read recently was that she is in the top 100 i think of most hated characters yeah can you understand that yeah should we talk about that yeah i think we should do a whole <laughs> yes, I can. uh episode yes on characters we oh. dislike for no apparent reason I can right think of a few off the top i of think my i head. could too i i guess i definitely can talk about characters that i've heard people dislike and i'm like Huh? Yeah. What? No. <laughs> I think that'll be fun. Let's do that yeah. next. Stay tuned for the next episode when we break down characters that we or everyone else dislikes for no reason. <laughs> yeah. Or for a reason, I guess. Just Maybe. The most yeah. Disliked. Actually. Who knows? We might open your guys' eyes to something. That's true. <laughs> but yeah. Cool. Cool. Do we want to do a trivia question or two? Okay. Which uh, one do you want? Oh. Let's go with... Oh, my buttons. Oh, no. <laughs> my buttons. Buttons. Uh, let's go with comedy. Um, See how we do. So you want both the questions on a comedy card. Yeah. Are we keeping the discards out of here? I feel like I put them somewhere. I put them back in. That's scary. Because I... Why? I, I just cleaned. I just... Why? You never clean. <laughs> <laughs> Cleaned up after my... Okay. Time. Oh, this is a great question. Oh, yeah. I would actually get this right. Oh. Which actor played Coach Klein in The Waterboy? 
Coach Klein? Yeah, the coach. I can just see Adam Sandler, but I who played the coach? I don't even think I can like picture the coach. No. No, I can just see Adam Sandler. Water boy. What? <laughs> who is it? Henry Winkler. Oh my! It is. Yeah, I can't believe you didn't get. Oh me. no! They could have asked me about any other movie or show he was in. Why not just ask me about the Fonz? I'm not. Okay. You should know <laughs> that the Fonz is in this movie. Uh, I heard he's like one of the best people in Hollywood. Is like, he? Just That's so awesome. Sweet. Yeah. I really I've never like met him. him, but <laughs> I haven't either. Okay. Oh, Think you can do this? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. In Spinal Tap. Have you no. ever seen that? Oh, no. <laughs> what does the line, these go to 11, refer to? Think about it. It's about a band. Botox? No. <laughs> a band? Drugs? No. Beer? That's a good guess. No. The bands? Groupies? Amplifiers. Oh, shit. These go to 11. Oh, no. That makes more sense. I it thought does. it was like Room 11. You haven't seen Spinal Tap? Mm -mm. Bro. No. Nope. You should watch it. I should. You should. It's a classic. Yeah. I probably should. You really should. I'm uncultured. Yeah, you are. Uncultured swine. Uh, okay, what category would you like? I want to stick with comedy. Stick with comedy? Mm -hmm. What end did you put that in? You'll figure it out. You'll see that it's already been asked. <laughs> nay, nay. <laughs> okay, well. What? Did you pick it? Is that the yes, first one you picked? Yes, it oh is. Oh my god, of course it is. I'm left-handed, remember. I think both of these are easy. Oh god. I would have gotten both of these. Mm. This is unfair. Uh, okay. Who voices the character of Emperor Cusco in the Emperor's New Groove? No idea. Comedian. That narrows it down. Have you never seen Emperor's New No, Groove? I haven't. Oh my gosh. Classic. Uh, James Corden. Nope. It's old. Oh. <laughs> it's, um, it's like early 2000s. Chris Rock? I was going to say it's connected to Adam Sandler in a way, not Chris Rock. David Spade? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> David Spade. Uh, which film contains the line, I'll have what she's having? Oh, as a uh, when Harry met Sally. <laughs> I was like, "Don't give you that," because we just did. We talked <laughs> we about just Harry. Talked about Harry's. If you haven't seen that episode yet, I'll have what she's having. Go back and check it out. Give it a watch. Yeah, it's pretty good. I love it. Cool. Cool. Well, shoot, I got zero right, and you got one. One and a half. It's cool. It's fine. We can't win them all. No. Nope. When some, you lose them. Well, that was fun. Yeah, lots of Jennifers mm -hmm. talked about today. If your yeah. ears were ringing, Jennifer, it was us. Right? <laughs> if you can think of any other Jennifers we missed or any movies that, you know, you'd like to comment about, shoot us a comment. Yeah, definitely. And don't forget to like, subscribe, all the things. All the things. Yeah, yeah and uh, stay tuned for our future episodes. Check out all of our past episodes and uh, let us know if there's a genre or movie or something that you want to hear us talk about so we can add it to our list yeah or a random topic we yeah. like random topics we like digging deep mm -hmm. let's do it and as always uh be, be kind, kind. rewind <laughs>